Hello YouTube. Today we're looking at UIL Test A from 2013. And I'm going to go through some of these problems and writing the answers down. On the right hand margin I will write a little explanation for each one of those if necessary. Number one is 511 minus 115. If I look at 11 minus 15 I'm looking at a negative 4 or minus 4. So what I'm going to do, I can't write a negative 4 so I'm going to write 96 and I borrowed 100 so 500 becomes 400, 400 minus 1, 4 minus 1 is 3 so that's 396. For number 2 whenever you multiply by 25 just remember that 25 is actually 1 fourth of 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 1 fourth of 88 which is 22 and then multiply by 100. On number 3 dividing by 9 I can add the four digits and that would give me the remainder. 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 3 is 6. So I have a remainder of 6, but I can't write 6 over 9 because I have to reduce that. So 6 ninths is actually 2 thirds. And then what I'm going to do is add the first three digits, 2, 0, and 1, that's 3. Then I add 2 plus 0, that's 2, and then just bring the 2 down. So my answer is 200, 223 and 2 thirds as a mixed number. For number 4, I'm going to add 115 plus 2013. I'm going to look at 15 plus 13 is 28. And then 100 plus 2000 is 2100. So that's 2128. 3 fifths is a percent. Well, that's just 60%. I know it says decimal, but it should be just a percent. 3 fifths is 0. 0.6 as a decimal or 60 percent. Uh, number six, 2.4 divided by 1.5. The way I see that problem is I see this as being 24 over 15 if I multiply numerator and denominator by 10. And then all I have to do is reduce by 3. That would be 8 over 5. Number 14, number 7 is 14 squared. 14 times 14 is 196 and you should memorize your squares. Uh, number 8, 3 fourths minus 2 thirds is 9 twelfths minus 8 twelfths, that would be 1 twelfth. And then 5 minus 4 is 1. If you have a little trouble with 3 fourths minus 2 thirds, you can do a cross product and 3 times 3 is 9 and 4 times 2 is 8, so 9 minus 8 is 1 and then 4 times 3 is 12. There's your 112. 11% of 12, 11 times 12 is 132, and percent means per 100, so I divide by 100, so that would be 1.32. Number 10 is a start problem, which is an approximation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to round off to the nearest hundreds, and so I'm going to make this 100 uh, plus 20 hundred minus 500 plus 31 and so I have uh, 100 minus 5 is negative 4 31 minus 4 is 27 plus 20 is 47 so I have 4700 and that's an approximation so I put that in red because it doesn't have to be exact now which is larger 7 ninths or 0 0.8 uh, 7 ninths is actually 0.777 repeating and so 0.8 is larger. Now here you have to be careful that you only write 0.8, not 0 0.8. Uh, because according to the rules, if you write an extraneous 0, 0 0.8, then this would be marked wrong. So 0.8 is the only correct answer. Uh, number 12, you have 40 times 23 minus 17 times 23. You can factor a 23. And it's going to leave you 40 minus 17 times 23. And that would be 23 times 23, which is 529. 23 squared. Uh, one bushel is 4 pecks. 4 pecks a bushel, so 2 bushels would be 8 pecks. And this you have to memorize that 4 pecks is equal to 1 bushel. Just like 4 quarts is a gallon. Uh, 19 times 19 over 23 as a mixed number 
The difference here is 4, 19, uh, 23 minus 19 is 4. So I'm going to square the 4. I'm going to have 16. My denominator is 23. And then I'm going to subtract 4 from 19. So I have 15. 19 minus 4 is 15. 4 squared is 16 over 23. And that would work in a similar fashion if I have 7 times 7 ninths. Then the difference is 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. And 2 squared is 4. So it would be 5 and 4 ninths. And that's for this particular type of problem. 115 divided by 25. I can multiply numerator and denominator by 4. So 115 times 4 would be 460. 460 divided by 100 is 4.6. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing 115 over 25. And I multiply this by 4. And multiply that by 4. And what I wind up doing is I'll get 100 in the denominator, and the numerator is 460. I can't write 4.60. The answer is 4.6. The mean is the same thing as the average. So I have to add up 1, 5, 12, 22, and 35. And if I add 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 12 is 18, and 22 is 40. 40 plus 35 is 75. 75 divided by 5 is 15. Uh, 13 times 15 is 195, carry a 1, 13 plus 1 is 14.95. And another way you could do that, I see some students will do 115 times 13, 13 times 5 is 15, write a 5, carry a 1, 13 times 1 is 13, plus the carry, and then they're going to have 9, and then 13 times 1 is 13, plus the carry, carry 1 is 14. Uh, number 18, sum of even consecutive integers is going to be n times n plus 1, where n is the number of terms. There's exactly 12 terms. 12 times 13 is 156. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, and we'll make more videos like this. If you have any comments, just feel free to write any comments. Hit the like button and also hit the bell for notifications. So uh, that's going to be it for today. And thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you.